Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing my mum's nails which are these gorgeous black holographic and gunmetal chrome nails. They are honestly so freaking gorgeous. So if you want to find out how I created them then of course keep on watching this video. Also I wanted to share the Ninja Squad shout out to Good Enough Nails and India and also Cheryl L. Thank you guys. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. back, back. So if you want to be in with a chance of next week's shout out and feature, then please drop some black emojis down below to go in, in line with the black set that we are creating today. So first off, I'm coming in with the tapered carbide bit from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the gel polish that my mum currently has on her nails. My mum's due for an infill and a redesign and she likes to be kind of quick with her nail services. She doesn't like to sit down for a long time. So we opted for changing to gel rather than acrylic design as that does take a little while longer. So as you can see, I'm literally removing that gel polish design from top of her, her uh, I cannot speak. We're removing the gel polish from the top of her acrylic enhancement and this tapered carbide bit is perfect for doing the job. Once I've finished removing all of the gel polish design, I'm coming in with Nailmate Super Scraper and I'm just going to go ahead and push back the cuticles and scrape off any overgrown cuticle that is on the new nail plate area. So these super scrapers come in two colours, you can have the purple plasma finish or the outer space finish which is kind of a multi-tonal rainbow finish, kind of random but honestly they are absolutely gorgeous, perfect, beautiful tool to work with and they are currently sold out, I'm hoping we can have them back in stock soon, they are just in manufacturing right now, um, hopefully it's not too long, like we seem to be selling out these so quick when we get them back in stock, they are just so beautiful to work with.
So next I'm coming in with the carbide cuticle bit in the fine and this is for just around the cuticle area. I'm lightly feathering, I'm applying little to no pressure with this bit. It's literally just to tickle the surface of the nail plate just to remove any non-living tissue which has grown down the nail plate and needs removing thoroughly from that area to ensure that we get good adhesion of products. Sometimes getting in there with your hand files can be a little challenging, especially when it comes to the side walls and the proximal folds. Um, it can just be a little bit more challenging, so I really love the cuticle bit for that. So I'm going to be sculpting some repairs on my mum's nails. So I'm going to be using the Galactic Pro Nail Forms, and these come in a 300 piece set of nail forms in a dispenser box which i find so freaking bomb i was so hyped i love this product so much i love the way it looks and honestly i cannot like recommend them enough i freaking love the galactic pro forms i've literally just sculpted my own set with them as well and yeah i just cannot get enough of them i love them so much so you want to make sure when you are applying your forms that your client first off is in the correct position because if your client's not in the right position and they're trying to see what's going on, it's going to be extremely difficult for those forms to be applied. Now notice I did skip some of the video there and that was just basically me peeling my gloves off the bottom of the forms because they were practically stuck. I literally couldn't get them off so it was a bit awkward. Um, I finally got them off and I was able to close the form and move into sculpting the repair on this nail. I'm going to be using the number 12, I think it is, Pastel Pink Aqua Brush, which I absolutely love working with. I've already applied my primer and I've dehydrated the nails and everything. So I'm coming in with my infill and I'm using Nude Attitude from Glitter Planet to do this. And this just means that we've got a nice base, which is going to be easy for me to apply and just nice to apply a gel polish over the top of as well. So as you can see I'm just taking a small to medium bead of acrylic and I'm placing it towards the cuticle area and I'm using my brush to tap the product side to side making sure to take care of that cuticle area and once I'm happy with that I'm then dragging the product down the nail to meet with the existing product that we already have there just to make it nice and flush and even and still taking care of the structure somewhat. Of course we are going to come in and hand file as well but taking care of the structure at this point and and the shape and the finish of the nail really just helps to minimalize that filing time and reduce the service time which means things can get done quicker but efficiently as well so I'm just going ahead and sculpting this repair I'm starting at the free edge making sure that I can get that into a nice consistent even shape and then I'll start and add a bead in the center of the nail and then towards the cuticle area
Anyway, I did the fill, I filed and buffed off of camera, and now I'm coming in with Nail Mates Gel Polish in the shade Midnight. Honestly, stunning. This black is so gorgeous, so creamy, so glossy, so beautiful, and look at that, one coat, and I mean a proper one coat. I'm not lathering it on super thick because I know full well that when you apply gel polish super thick to go and cure it in the lamp it's going to all bubble and crumble and go all trashy and horrible. Let me tell you this is a nice even thin layer of black of our midnight black gel polish from the Nail Mate gel line and the coverage is outstanding. Let it speak like look at it it speaks for itself. I'm not like taking the mic when I say that. It's gorgeous. I would literally wear a full set of black just like this. I think it's so freaking vibey. It's unbelievable. But anyway, yeah, I'm applying one coat of the black gel and then I'm going to go ahead and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. So of course my camera was not filming when I initially applied the glitter. Um, so this glitter is a gorgeous fine glitter and it's from the Glitter Planet. I think it's a 10, 3, 6, 9, 12. It might be a 12 piece set or a 10 piece set. I am really not sure right now. Um, but it's from the fine holographic set of glitters. Or you can buy Ashes to Ashes which is also a fine black holographic glitter if you just wanted to buy it singly. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the effect. All I did is sprinkled it over the top and buffed it in you can just also sprinkle and cure and then top coat but honestly i love the effect i'm using the large ombre dust brush to get rid of any excess glitter that hasn't adhered to the nail whilst curing and then i'm coming in with the nail mate base coat now i'm doing this just to seal in that glitter and seal in the glitter design i always like to do this just to create a nice smooth finish as well because i hate when you've had glitter applied with a gel polish and then it's all lumpy and bumpy and not cool so i love to seal it in with a base coat cure it for the full time which is 60 seconds and then come in with a finishing top coat i just love that routine for gel polish glitter nails um, so yeah, I'm excited to launch the gel polish range for Nailmate. We've been working on it for so freaking long. So we're going to start by launching eight colours and a base and a top coat. And then after that, we will be hand selecting some more shades to add to the collection. And it will just keep on growing that way. So I'm so, so excited for that to happen. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. So next I'm moving on to the chrome nails. So I've applied the black midnight gel polish. I've applied a no wipe top coat, which is our super gloss. And then I'm gonna be applying the pearl ice pigment. So this is how the pigment looks in the jar. It doesn't really look like much, I know, but placed over most or any color really, it can create this kind of chromey looking effect. I love it so much. Look how gorgeous that turns. It's just breathtaking. Once I finish rubbing in the chrome, I dust off the excess top coat. I applied the bow, which is also available from Glitter Planet. And then I applied the luxury cuticle oil. And this is the final result. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way it turned out. My mum absolutely loves it as well. They are gorgeous and they are practical. That black hollow is just absolutely stunning. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck. And don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this. And I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you later, alligator. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back.